Um, thank you very much. Your Eminence, the Sultan of Sokoto, Your Eminence, John Cardinal Onaekon, Bishop Matthew Kuka, and other members of the National Peace Committee, the representative of the Inspector General of Police, DIG Le Oebade, political parties and candidates for the 2020 Ondo governorship election, the chairman of the Ondo State Council of Obas, His Imperial Majesty the Olugbo of Uboland, His Imperial Majesty the Deji of Akure, Honorable National and Resident Electoral Commissioners of INEC, members of the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security, representing various security agencies, civil society organizations, religious leaders, our development partners, the media, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, I would like to express our profound appreciation to the National Peace Committee under the leadership of our respected former Head of State, His Excellency General Abdusalami Abubakar, for convening this meeting. It is gratifying to note that respected statesmen, including traditional rulers, as well as religious and business leaders are working in a voluntary and non-partisan way to promote peaceful elections for the consolidation of our democracy in particular and for peace in Nigeria in general. Today, we are honored by the esteemed presence of His Eminence, Alaj Muhammad Saad Abubakar, the Sultan of Sokoto, His Eminence John Cardinal Onaeko, Bishop Matthew Kuka, and I believe other members of the National Peace Committee. By your continuous and consistent encouragement for peace in Nigeria, you have once again demonstrated that moral suasion is as important as statutory authority in promoting peaceful coexistence and nation building. Working with civil society organizations and other stakeholders, INEC will continue to support the work of the Committee for Peaceful Elections in Nigeria. Only three weeks ago in Benin City, political parties and candidates for the Edo State Governorship election signed a peace accord. The intervention of the National Peace Committee no doubt contributed in no small way to the peaceful conduct of the election whose outcome has been adjudged as credible. Unfortunately, the Ondo State Governorship election holding this Saturday is generating its own tensions. The charged atmosphere demands that political parties and candidates should affirm, respect, support, promote, and commit to peaceful elections, which I understand are the five cardinal pillars on which the peace accord rests. Without peace, our deployment plans, new innovations in results management, the safety of personnel, security of materials, and above all, the credibility of the elections will be severely undermined. Even worse, public health will be jeopardized as observance of safety protocols in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic will be impossible to achieve in an atmosphere of disruption, violence, and disorder. It is therefore important for everyone to maintain the peace. I wish to assure the Peace Committee of INEC's commitment 
to transparent and credible elections. The votes in Ondo State on Saturday will count. I call on all political parties and candidates to abide by the letter and spirit of the peace accord by appealing to our supporters to maintain the peace before, during, and after the election. This will be your own way of showing commitment to the peace accord and appreciation for the work of the peace committee. Before I conclude, I wish to note that some of the candidates contesting in the governorship election holding this Saturday were also candidates in the last election held four years ago on 26 November 2016. You will recall that the election was free, fair, and credible. You may also recall that it was perhaps the only governorship election in the history of Ondo State since 2003 whose outcome was not challenged at the election petition tribunal. This is in spite of the fact that three of the contestants were senior lawyers, indeed senior advocates of Nigeria. With this record and the recent peaceful conduct of the Edo State Governorship election, I implore you all and your supporters to be tolerant of each other. Conduct yourself peacefully, and you have done it before, but please, in 2020, do not lower the bar in Ondo State. Your Eminence, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for this intervention, and may God bless the efforts of the National Peace Committee. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.